take a moment and talk to my buyers that are looking to purchase um, in these upcoming months. Interest rates are still a little bit higher. So this is something that I've been telling my clients one-on-one, -on -one, but I just want to share this out in the open with anyone else because this topic does keep coming up and I think you should hear from a professional before you just run around believing all the headlines or people that owned a home 30 years ago or do not own a home, okay? Now, <laughs> sorry, but anyway. Okay, so with these interest rates uh, being a little bit higher, I know a lot of people want down payment assistance if they do not have the funds readily and available. And I completely understand that if you need that help with down payment assistance. Now, the con to that is once you use down payment assistance, your interest rate will increase because of that program. So if interest rates today are 7%, your interest rate once you use that program will increase to possibly 8 or even 9%. Okay, so that changes the um, monthly payment that you will have to pay on your mortgage. Okay, now this is what I like to tell my clients because of that. Um, if we have to use down payment assistance, we will, but there are other options. One option could be your 401k. I know for some people that sounds scary because you're saying, I, I, this is what I need for my retirement. However, the money that you're using from your 401k, first of all, is not going to be penalized because you're purchasing a home. All you have to do is show um, your contract. And secondly, the equity that this home will build for you is going to be so much greater than the amount that you took out to purchase the home. So if you just look at it, it's nothing but a win using that 401k to purchase a home instead of just sitting there, okay? Because it's doing nothing for you sitting but saving. Put that in something that can help build for you. That will help be your retirement plan, the possibility of selling your home later in life, or you can always do um, a line of equity you can take out on your home as well because that is your money, okay? So using your 401k for down payment assistance, if you have it, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Don't be afraid. Now, another option would be get a gift from your family members, your mother, your father, your grandmother, your aunt, your uncle, your grandfather, your brother, your sister, your cousin, um, your best friend, if you have anyone in your corner that you know have funds, like, you know, I know who to call in my family. <laughs> but if you have someone in your family or a friend's network of people that you can call and say, hey, I'm trying to buy a home. I need help with down payment. I really don't want to get the assistance because that's going to increase this interest rate on me and I can afford it at X amount interest rate, okay? Trust me, more people will help you than you believe. Most people love that they are in a position to help the ones that they love that are actually trying to better themselves. So don't cancel it out without actually approaching your loved ones. Now, if they say no, they said no. There's nothing you can do about it. You know, we go back to that drawing board, okay? But if they say yes, guess what? You just received that gift, okay? Um, so that is another option. So you do have the option again of using your 401k and you have the option of a gift from a family member. Okay. Now, another thing, I like to push new construction right now with my new clients. Okay. And this is again, if you have that earnest deposit, what should be from $5,000 on the low end, but you will typically need eight, nine thousands or more um, for earnest deposit with a new construction community. Now, what they are doing right now, this can always change, but right now what they are doing, they are actually buying your interest rate down in the price of the home. So you will be able to purchase a home, let's say at um, five and a half percent. So you can purchase this home at five and a half percent. Hold on, let me get my little notes out because I wrote some stuff down. Um, Okay, so let's say you have a $300,000 home, okay? So with your $300,000 home, your mortgage at a 5.5% interest rate would be about $1,700. Now, this is not including your taxes, insurance, or HOA. These are just quick little numbers I did before this video, okay? So this is $1,700 at a 5.5% interest rate. Now, if you use um, the market rate, so if you just get a resale home out here, let's say the market rate is at seven and a half percent, that monthly payment that from it goes from seventeen hundred to two thousand ninety seven dollars a month. Okay, that is a three hundred ninety seven dollar difference. And again, this is not including taxes, insurance, or anything else that will be in that escrow. Okay, now 
if you use down payment assistance, and this is all calculations for the same $300,000 home. If you use down payment assistance, let's say it is um, eight and a quarter, okay, for the down payment assistance. That same payment will be $22.30, which is $133 different from the market rate of 7.5%, but which is $530 difference of going to that new construction community at five and a half percent okay and the life of a loan is 30 years so that's um about sixteen thousand dollars more that you will pay just from either a um not going new construction and pay a market rate or b using your down payment assistance now this is this type of stuff i look at for my clients um and this is why i have these one-on-one -on -one conversations with them because the life of the loan is the life of the loan we can always hope that interest rates change however if it does not go down um for three years you have to pay what that monthly mortgage is, okay? So you wanna move in a home that you can afford. You don't wanna move into a home where you hope the interest rates go down and you can refinance later. So again, um, if you are looking to purchase a home in the upcoming months, I highly recommend using your 401k if you do not have the money saved, okay? Use your 401k to go ahead and put down on that home. Really, honestly, if you have money saved and 401k, you still can use your 401k because all you have to do is prove that you have a home in contract and you will not be penalized and keep your savings. I mean, that's what I would do. That's what I would do. Um, but I just wanted to put that out there. Don't be discouraged. You can still buy a home in this market. Just look at other resources. Um, let's not just run to down payment assistance right now because interest rates are already higher. So if you have people that can gift for you, if you have 401k saves, use that for your down payment assistance and your closing cost help. Now there are seller concessions. Your real estate agent can help negotiate with you. These sellers right now in this market, they know these interest rates are higher. So they are already willing to give you $10,000, $15,000, um, a smart seller and a smart agent <laughs> are already willing to give you $10,000 or more to go towards your closing credits. But then again, you have to have a realtor that knows how to negotiate for you to make sure that you can get help with those closing costs. Alrighty. So that's your little nugget from Jay Kelly today. I hope you all have a wonderful day. It is Friday. I'm actually excited. My goddaughter asked me to do her makeup for her um, eighth grade cotillion today. So I'm on my way over there to go be this little beauty beautician. I don't know what it's called, child. But I'm going to go over there and just be God mama, super God mom. I'm excited about that. But I hope you all have a wonderful day. Be blessed. Again, if you live in the state of Florida or you're thinking about moving to Florida and you want to sell or purchase a home, please go ahead and contact me, Jay Kelly sells real estate i would love to help you and guide you um, in the purchasing of your home or selling of your home there are a lot of agents out here however there's only one me work ethic cannot be taught baby it's already in me so if you are looking for someone that's on your team for real for real i'm right here all right but anyway have a wonderful day be blessed be safe out there talk to a professional don't let these headlines scare you down payment assistance is wonderful it's beautiful if you need it use it but um, before you just jump straight to it especially with these current interest rates you look at all of your resources do not be afraid to use your 401k i'm telling you the equity in your home is going to be so much greater than this 10 14 thousand dollars that you will take from your 401k like and especially in the state of florida the way these homes are appreciating that will already be added in equity by the end of the year like for real for real like it, it's crazy right now florida the way these homes are appreciating um but again it's girl check kelly sells real estate be blessed thank you